Welcome to this brief video about our invention and product, the Flash Paralysis Reactor. This video is made to explain the system and business model for placing our product on water treatment plants. The big six, consisting of nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and sulfur, is elements which is the basis of all life on Earth. This includes plants, humans, animals and bacteria. If any of these six is absent, life cannot exist. Recycling of phosphorus is the focus of this video. Let me explain the ecosystem of phosphorus. Human food consists mainly of plants and animals, which require phosphorus. Therefore, our food also consists of phosphorus. Humans cannot obtain all the phosphorus that we eat, meaning that phosphorus is flushed down the toilet. Water treatment plants processes wastewater from households and industry. The phosphorus is obtained in sludge, which is a waste fraction. Sludge is mainly treated in three different ways. In Denmark, 24% of sludge is burnt for energy production. This creates value for water treatment plants by reducing their energy bills. But by burning sludge, phosphorus is not recycled. Furthermore, toxic gases such as carbon dioxide and methane is released in the atmosphere, which has a bad impact on global warming. 13% of sludge is mineralized or landfilled. The phosphorus is precipitated which takes thousands of years before it gets back in the plants. In Denmark, 52% of sludge is spread on fields. This is a big outcome for water treatment plants in governmental taxes, since sludge is defined as a waste. Going back to the ecosystem of phosphorus, plants will obtain the recycled phosphorus which will produce more food. When we look at the different sludge treatment alternatives in an economic perspective, none of the solutions can recycle phosphorus in an economically sustainable way from the water treatment plant's point of view. Our product, the flash pyrolysis reactor, is an alternative sludge treatment process that recycles phosphorus in an economically sustainable way. The reactor processes sludge by the technology flash pyrolysis. The technology is developed by the Technical University of Denmark and Dung Energy. The input of the reactor is biomass, in this case sludge, and the outputs are biochar and biowatt. Biochar consists of nutrients and organic compounds. 95% of phosphorus from the sludge will be in the biochar. The biochar is therefore spread on fields to recycle the phosphorus. This way, the phosphorus can be obtained in the plants within 6 weeks. 55% of the sludge turns into bio-oil. The bio-oil has a burning value of 25 megajoules per kilo and can be used for energy production. In combined heat and electricity plants, this means both electricity and district heating. Let's go back to the ecosystem of phosphorus. We place ourselves in the existing value chain. This allows the water treatment plants to recycle phosphorus with a reduction of 75% on governmental taxes. At the same time, the bio oil creates an income for the water treatment plants when it's sold to power plants. From the economic perspective, the flash pyrolysis reactor is capable of recycling phosphorus in an economically sustainable way. This is unique for this industry. The flash pyrolysis reactor is developed by five students from Copenhagen Business School and the Technical University of Denmark. Thank you for your attention.